Maybe we'll have something explode. Oh crap, I overspilled. Did you know my great grandmother was Mennonite? Now it's stuck. What like 10 year old kid wants to sit and husk peas? <laughs> I will never do this again. What, 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 something else. Wasn't expecting that. Wonder if it is smoke. Can you imagine me as a Mennonite? Straight up the nostrils. Oh, I didn't have the lid on all the way. Hi, Hi everybody, and welcome to my day. My dog is scratching. Can you hear the dog collar? There, she stopped. This is just a day with me. I thought we could do that. Maybe a get to know me kind of day. That would be fun, don't you think? Because I don't know why. I just don't know why. But right now, I just dehydrated um, garlic and onions and I'm going to grind them up. So I thought, why not bring my friends with me? Yeah, I don't know. I have an earache. My ear is hurting pretty bad right now. Yesterday, I couldn't move my head without getting like vertigo. It, it was pretty bad yesterday. Today, it just kind of, it just hurts. It just hurts. So, I don't know. I don't know how far my day is going to go before I end up in bed, but let, let's see if we could make it through most of the day. What I want to do here is I've got all this dehydrated garlic that I want to put in my mixer. You're a little high there. Into my mixer. So I thought, just why not? Just why not? Michelle doesn't feel very good today, but we're going to do this anyway. We're going to, we're pushing ahead. I also have some onions that I want to put in here. These are onions that I dehydrated, oh, a couple weeks ago. And I'm finding that I like the onion powder better. I have onion powder made too, so I thought I would just grind those up while I'm at it. I don't know if you watched my dehydrating garlic video, but I didn't feel like cutting them. So it took two days for these to dehydrate, which is my fault. I was kind of actually over cutting all of the garlic and peeling the garlic and all of the things. I also dehydrated some pepper rings on here and these are pretty good. I put them in oil. I think I'm gonna try to do something with dehydrated pepper rings. I have a lot of Hungarian hot wax peppers in my garden that I need to do something with. Right now we're cutting them in rings and freezing them. Oh, that one didn't get very dehydrated. He looks like a cashew. It does, it looks just like a cashew. That's the only one in here that didn't get hard. I don't know. But what was I just saying? Peppers. I have a lot of them peppers. So we're going to do something with them. I've made cowboy candy relish. Oh, I'll show you. All right. I'm back. Cowboy candy relish. I have this made. This is extremely good. Page Family Homestead did this with jalapenos and I did it with Hungarian hot wax. So theirs looks green, mine looks yellow. Trust me, it's just as good. I've given this to my kids. My son-in-law ate it one day. It's that good. I should make a video. I should. Am I going to? Maybe. And then we've got this going, peppers and oil. This is just regular peppers and oil with nothing like garlic and garlic and garlic and what, 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 something else. Oregano. Yeah, oregano. This was my own creation that I'm finding that I really like this. And I might make a video on this because this is really good. Now, Rob doesn't care for this, but I really like it. I dehydrated tomatoes. So they're like sun-dried tomatoes in there. This is extremely, extremely good. I think so. Rob doesn't think so. He just likes the regular without the tomatoes in it. But I should make a video on that because it is super, super good. I'm gonna go put these all back because I don't, I don't have room for all this stuff on the counter. So I'll be right back. I also made some more corn cob jelly just in case you were interested in. I have a video on that. This is good. It doesn't taste like corn cob. It should be called honey jelly because it tastes just like honey. No corn cob. It doesn't taste like corn. So those of you that have corn and you know save your corn cobs. I froze my corn cobs and, and used them that way because quite frankly I was tired of corn at the time we were doing all of that. I did do the video on it but then I, I was over the corn. I really was over the corn at this time. Now there's little tiny pepper seeds. Can you see them? There's little tiny pepper seeds on here. We'll have to pick around them. And I will never do this again, just on the record here, because I buy like garlic already in the jar. It's much easier than peeling all of this garlic. Oh, trust me, it, it was, it's easier. I had a lot of garlic to peel and I'm never doing it again. Maybe I'll dehydrate the, the stuff in the jar. I'll try to do that. Yeah, I, I could do that. I think I have some. I do. 
I don't have enough though to, to dehydrate. You might see a video, Michelle, dehydrating minced onion from the, or minced onion, minced garlic from the jar. Again, I'll never do this again, ever. Unless I grow garlic, if I grow garlic, which I don't see happening either. It's like peas. When I was a little kid, my dad grew peas. Only one time did my dad grow peas because it takes a lot of pea husking because you have to open up, you know, it's like a green bean, and then you got to open up the thing and get some little peas out of there, the pod, open the pod. It's not worth it. it trust me. It's not worth it. Unless you grow mega peas, I mean, a lot, like a whole acre of peas, and have a lot of kids. And then I pity your kids because I was there. Michelle, can you help us do this? Not, well, no, it was. Michelle, we're we're doing peas now. You're helping. What like 10 year old kid wants to sit and husk peas or whatever you call them? Not, uh, not me. Not this girl, but I did it. I did it. Did you know my great grandmother was Mennonite? I just thought I'd throw that in there. Yeah. My great grandmother was Mennonite and she lived over in PA, probably close to Homestead. Tessie didn't know that, did you? Can you imagine me as a Mennonite? I can't. Nope. Maybe these days, because they're a little more modern. Can't imagine that. Now, now I got it all. We'll just set these in a second. And there's the onions. Let's see if I have any garlic that fell, because... Oh, no, not so bad. Nope. If this footage isn't really boring, then I'll put it in there. I don't know. Maybe we'll have something explode. Let's... How do we do this? Let's see. On. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I, I, I got it. Oh, okay. We'll just wait a minute until all that. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Nope. What? It's like smoke, but it's, it's wonder if it is smoke. I don't think it's smoke. I think it's just garlic coming out of it. Look at it. Kind of looks like smoke, doesn't it? I'm going to look. I don't think it's smoke. No, it's just garlic. <laughs> it's just garlic powder. Which isn't all the... And it's like coming out the... Oh, I didn't have the lid on all the way. All right, well, let's try it again with the lid on all the way so it doesn't come out. Here it goes. All right. All right, let's see. Let's shut it off. Let's... Now I know better not to stick my face in there. Look! It's smoking. Oh, now how am I going to get all this out of here? Oh, well, let's see. This is covered in a chalk-like substance. Great, great. How am I going to get that in that jar? I'm going to have to think about this one. How am I going to get it? Okay, there. Maybe I need my, my funnel. Let me go get my funnel. Be right back. <coughs> um, this is kind of in my lungs. All right. Yeah. Okay. How am I going to do this? Well, we're just going to dump. See what happens. Well, most of it's coming out of there. Come on now. Now it's stuck. What the heck? Oh, it's plugged up. The, hole, the hole's plugged. Seriously has to be an easier way to do this. Let me get a knife. Down the hatch. Down the, oh, there. See how much easier. This is better than store-bought. Because you know what's in there, at least. Still, I'm not... Oh, crap. I overspilled. I've got garlic, like, in my throat. Oh, up my nose. It's everywhere. It's in my eyeballs. This is a great idea. There has to be an easier thing to do. There's got to be an easier way to do this. There just has to be. Because now I have to dump this again. I'm probably going to dump all over the counter. Alright, you ready? Let's see. Oh, shoot. It really is up my nose, too. This is, it does smell good. I don't know what to say about this. It, it is working. It's everywhere. It's up my nose. It's in my throat. It's in my everywhere. It's probably in my hair. Yeah, it's probably everywhere. It's probably on my counters. All right, we almost got it all. Come on. It's like getting the, 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 you know, when you make a milkshake in one of these, 
you want to get that very last bit because you don't want to waste any ice cream. God forbid you waste ice cream. Oh, that's plenty good enough. Now I'm going to do them onions. Am I really going to do those onions with the garlic? It's going to be like garlic onion powder. like Because there's already powder in here. If I wash it, then it'll get wet. Oh, decisions. Now what? Oh, and let me show you a trick that I've been doing. I have been saving the lids that I've canned with for things like this. I'm not going to can with these ever again. But since, you know, there's lid shortage. So repurpose. We're repurposing this. There. See? Decisions. Do I... What do I do now? Do I wash this and get it wet? I don't know what to do. This is going to be garlic onion powder. Alright? That's a thing. That is a thing. It's a thing now. I'll just have to label this garlic onion. Because I do use them both together. So why not? So these are going to go in there. And maybe I'll put some more garlic in this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that was loud. Don't know. All right, where'd my lid go? Over here. All right, let's just mix these up. Last time I had the lid on wrong. I didn't know that it had a spot. Got it. All right. Oh, wait. I turned it off. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, now, this, uh, if this isn't as powdery, it probably won't go up my nose. Let's hope not. Well, a little bit. I'm going to put some garlic in here. Just some. Maybe that much. There, I just made garlic onion powder. Look how easy that was. Didn't even mean to do that either. Didn't mean to. Alright, go. Oh, you know what? I need to change the label in this. We already went through my label. I'm a bad labeler. So I probably should change the label. Let's see if I can't get something in there. Onion garlic powder. I'm a genius. I am a genius. Wasn't planning on making this, but you know what? It works. My garlic powder is already closed, so I can't mess them up. She says now. Okay, let's see. That one's not so bad. It does smell pretty good. Can you see it? My nose again. Can you see it in there? Straight up the nostrils. All right, let's try not to dump it everywhere. Come on. Now this is stuck. All right, we're just dumping this way. Because it's stuck in there. For some reason, something is stuck. This is not working. It's not coming out. Ah! I almost dropped the thing. There's still more in here. Let's see. It's like the ice cream. You don't want to miss it. Isn't this a great video? If you're still here, God bless. Here we are, stuck again. There, made it. Garlic, onion powder. Got the right label on there. I've got a huge mess here now to clean up. I'm going to go and clean up my mess. And I hope you enjoyed my video of me just rambling. All I did was ramble. I will see you in my next video. Don't know what that's going to be because whenever an idea hits my head, <laughs> then I film something. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>